To manage access to your WordPress website effectively is not an easy task. It's just because there are so many capabilities, roles, and other plugins and themes introduce their own custom capabilities. That's why in order to specify everything properly, you would have to know from inside out how everything works. To simplify work for you, I came up with a concept of access and security policies. It's a JSON based document that define how your user role or application can interact with your website. Let's take in a simple example. We have a contact form seven, one of the most popular plugins that are available online, and you would want to grant access, full access to that uh, plugin functionality for a custom role. For simplicity, I already created a role named contacts moderator. It is a very basic role that has absolutely no capabilities assigned. That's why any user that has this role will not have access to anything. And I already created a user named John moderator. So let's just take a different browser and try to log in with this user to the website. John logged in and go to dashboard as you can see access is denied for him because he absolutely have no capabilities well, let's assign a policy to the john and that policy will grant the basic access to the backend menu i already create a policy called basic backend access policy that uh, defines only few capabilities only minimum amount of capabilities that are needed to grant access to the backend assign it to John reload the page voila John has access to the backend he can manage his own profile the next step is to grant the full access to the contact form sound functionality for John I already created a policy for that it's called contact form 7 full access and if you go to edit it you can see there are certain capabilities and menus that we want to give access for John. So let's go assign it. There, John. Reload the page. And John now have access to the contact form. And it, because contact form seven shares some core capabilities uh, with other uh, menus you actually might see additional menus on your backend menu. However, you can restrict access to them. And for that, I already also created a couple more policies that restrict access to tools and setting menus. Now, reloading the page. And here we go. John has access only to things that he absolutely need to have access to. And you don't even have to do anything. Just apply certain policies. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to this YouTube channel or to my email list because there's way more coming. Thank you. Bye.